This is what it looks like when all of my video gear has been charging overnight. Now I'm ready to vlog. Yeah, I want to get a uh, venti skinny mocha and then um, home style chicken and double smoked bacon. It'll be $11.20 here at the window. I had to get some fuel for the road. I never eat breakfast, which is a bad thing. I got to get better at that because I know it messes up my metabolism. And now you made it, but I already made this. Not interested. Open your eyes, let's get it done. Take my hand, just follow me. Shadow me, I won. So I'm not in San Diego just yet. I got food for my belly. I did not get food for my car's belly. I found a Costco gasoline between LA and San Diego. I am now waiting in line to fill up with gas. I've been in stop and go traffic for most of the drive down here. A lot of times when I'm driving down to San Diego or driving a long stretch, I will listen to music. This time I've just been driving in silence and it's been causing me to think a lot about the future. I'm just, I'm thinking long term. I'm thinking beyond my channel. I'm thinking what is the future of digital content? You may know that I am currently a Maker partner and Maker is going through some changes and they are cutting all but their top 300 influencers. I am not one of their top 300 influencers at all. So at the end of this month, we're getting cut. And we were thinking about leaving anyway, so this is kind of good timing because Maker had kind of become a bit of a ghost town. All they really were giving me was access to the music library. So we're in this period of, do we sign with another network? Do we fly solo? What do we do? But then I'm thinking beyond YouTube. I'm thinking apps. I'm thinking Apple TV. I'm thinking, how do we get content out? Well, if we put out an app, Maybe we should have more than just my vlog. Maybe we should have some short films. What about a cousin of mine who's got a journalism degree? What if we started a news channel of her doing headline updates every day? Maybe we could put that on YouTube and on this app. These are the things I think about and the ideas I have. I don't know if they'll come to fruition. And I don't know even if this is something that's a good idea to move forward with. I don't know how soon something like this would be good. I'm a big dreamer, but I, I know that you also have to do the work to make dreams reality. And that's where I often fall short because I'm just, I, I'm tired after the day job, so I'm not doing what I need. And it's just, it's all about doing to achieve and make the dream a reality. Okay, this is really freaky. It went from completely sunny to this wall of fog coming off the ocean. I look to my left, I can see blue sky, inland just a little bit, but directly in front of me and to the right, low level clouds, fog. I've never seen it before, this weird. I can't even see it coming in waves off the ocean. I just look over there and I can barely see the buildings just off the freeway. And of course it's sunny down here in San Diego. Basically it was just cloudy and overcast between Del Mar and San Juan Capistrano. My mom is in isolation, so every time that we enter through the door, we have to put these protective gowns on and gloves and wash our hands. She actually looks like she's asleep right now. I'm gonna let her rest as much as I can. That was a good visit with my mom. Much too short, just because she was starting to get tired and also visiting hours were also over. But I'm glad I got down. I just wish I had more than just two and a half hours to spend with her. 
especially after I spent five hours driving down here and I have another two, two and a half hours driving home. You know, for those of you that are watching that might not properly appreciate your mothers, spend as much time with them as you can. You really don't know how much time you have with them here on this earth. All right, that's it for tonight.